and then help me with that. I'm just so nerfed, like every day worried about everything. So I think I'm having anxiety really bad. So I just need to talk to y'all. I just like some strangers who, you know, normally over here we got some clowns sometimes, but normally over here it's like some good old encouragement and my family's over here. So, yeah, I need it. Do it for the hearts and not the charts. I do. I got to pray. Like, then I'm stressed. Like, I'm, tell, I'm just telling y'all all my business. I don't care. Y'all know that I've been like that for years. Um, so the country stuff got me terrified. I'm fucking terrified. I'm even terrified of my R&B album. Like, I got a full studio downstairs. I be scared to walk in it. Me. Me. Be scared to walk in it because I don't want to, I don't want to fail in it. I don't want to fail y'all. Like, I don't want to, I don't want y'all to be like, yo, that was whack. You know what I'm saying? Like, she left us with this whack R&B album. I never give y'all no whack music. Y'all know how I am. I put my whole heart, I sing, I make sure. So I don't want to give y'all no bad R&B album. You know what I'm saying? So I'm stressed. I have anxiety. Like, I have anxiety, like, really bad, man. I want to give y'all an amazing R&B album, even though mentally I might be on to something else and physically I'm here on to something else. I got to do this, you know? Yeah, I'm not finna give y'all no whack music. Y'all can talk about me. People can talk about me. But they can't talk about my music. I might not have had the politics backing me up to be a bigger artist or what people might think I should be. But I don't give out no bad music. I don't, I don't do that to y'all. Because y'all spend y'all money. So I don't do that. So... I'm nervous about that. I'm just being honest with y'all this morning. Why well, I can't sleep. I'm nervous about the country album because what if they don't accept me? And what if I don't get my politics right? Like, I'm having to build a team. You know how stressful that is? Building a team? I'm building a team right now. Like, literally, new agency. Um... I think I know the agency, big agency I'm going to. Even country, a country booker. Um, everything in country. And I have to build everything in R&B. Like I completely started over, got rid of everybody. So I gotta build a team. So I be so stressed when I get up. I be like, here we go. It's time to go hard, it's time you know what I'm saying? So that stresses me, you know? And all of the anxiety, like two albums and a new grow to try to, you know, make some money, some long-term money. I know. So I'm just like y'all, man. I'm so human, I be, my anxiety is real over here. It's so real over here right now. And then, y'all know I did my IVF, right? And they thawed. They went and thawed, well, they supposed to. They thawed my egg and the sperm. So they sending over today an unthawed egg. So they're about to unthaw the egg and the sperm and put them together and see what we have. So you know that is stressful. Like, I've been doing IVF, you know, I have a boy egg, a boy embryo that's ready to go. I haven't picked a surrogate. Y'all can't say this, but it ain't a lot. And every day I need to move everything forward step by step. There's no time to play. 
there's like no time to play at all. I have to move it step by step. So that's where I'm at with it. So I'm super stressed about that. So I got what? Two albums, IBF, country music. It, it's, it's crazy. So I'm coming to y'all because of anxiety and saying, give me some encouraging work. Yeah, hard work, hard work. Yeah, and then my TV show. My TV show was supposed to start filming on 22nd. My Lifetime, my TV show starts filming on March the 8th. So, I'm, that's my first TV show that I'm a producer. You know, well, I was a producer on my other TV show, but like really getting in there and like producing and I'm gonna save some people life. Y'all know how big that is? Like, I'm really about to be producing a TV show, two damn albums, and then on top of that, my surgery is still not done. Ugh. Then I got sickness in my family right now. Like, golly. Like, I need some encouragement. I need some prayer. Like, I don't mind if y'all could pray for me. It would mean everything to me because my anxiety is fucked over here, man. Like, I'm like, I'm like this. Like, terrified. And I got marriage boot camp, which is terrifying to me, too, because I didn't know if I was going to do it. But I've never showed my significant other on TV and I've never told my issues, you know? I never told my issues about what we go through. Y'all might hear me say little stuff here and there, but y'all don't know half of the hell me and Dr. Sims have gone through. Y'all don't have a clue. So even though it's a ton of money for only 14 days, that's why people do marriage boot camp, y'all. They pay, I'm going to tell y'all a secret, they pay like the best in 14 days, like big check. So I've never showed my relationship. That gives me fucking anxiety to give y'all that part of me. But you need to slow down for your own mental health. I know you're fighting girls. No, not really. Yeah, we together. Thank y'all for encouraging me. I just doubt myself sometimes like everybody else. I'd be like, how am I going to pull all this off? So I got all this going on. I'm worried about my family, one of my family members and their health. I'm worried about that. I fucking got to get up, try to start building a team for country. Yeah, man. See who is going to finish this R&B album. I think I got the guy um, that's going to do it. So then I have fucking surgery. Who the fuck goes through all of that? You know, then I got surgery, which was supposed to be this week, Saturday, tomorrow. And um, they canceled it because there's still no blood and the COVID is really bad down there. So I have no date, no definite date as to when things are gonna calm down in Columbia and I'm gonna be able to finish my surgery. And that depresses me. Cause I want the fuck, I want the shit over. You know what I'm saying? He did such an amazing job um, so far on it, like a miracle. Like as far as lifting the cheeks, getting them the same, 
So now he just has to do um, project some projection and a dent on this side. My fat died and the dent came back in. That's why I haven't showed it yet. And the fact that y'all, I'm still, y'all be asking me to show y'all my body and I'm still in stitches. Oh yeah, I'm going through all of this still in stitches. How about that? How about that? <laughs> so, it's a fucking lot. Like, it is a lot. I take care of everybody. I pay everybody bills. You know, 90% mental, 10% physical. Yes, I need to get my mind right. I got to get my mind right. Like, I'm taking care and paying everybody's bills, doing all of this, and I'm not complaining. I thank Jesus every day. I'll call you, uh, Nidita. We need to talk. Let me screenshot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. So, I just woke up and said, fuck it. They be in my business anyway. At least the true business will come out from me. You know? So I do need, thank you, Glenn. Please do keep me in your prayers. I don't know how I'm finna get all of this done in my life and mentally. And then mentally be strong in it. I don't know. Like, but you know, we women, we gotta get it done. You know? Lord, I'm just like ready for the, I'm just ready for the surgeries to be over. Like, I'm just, yeah, it's not even about like showing my ass or doing anything like that because I'm so far removed from certain things. It's really just about not having to go through that pain again. Oh, I talk to God. I talk to God all day. Even when I'm just sitting there, they say I be like dozing, like in a trance. I kind of just be talking to God. So, conquerors we are. Yes, we are. Amen. No, Ted, you can't operate on me. What else since I'm just venting? <laughs> my bent moment give me my moment well have we touched on everything that been giving your girl the anxiety um my social media gives me anxiety it needs to be cleaned up i mean it needs to look more artistic because i'm very creative that stresses me out the labels on my head about my social media and how i don't interact enough and how, you know, my numbers, like sometimes my live numbers are low because your al the algorithm, you haven't worked it and you haven't done anything with your social media. So I'm like, oh my God, I have to really sit on social media to build back up my algorithm and everything like that. That is a lot. Jesus Christ. Hold on. I was looking on my line. How you do Q and A on here? You need a social media manager. I do need a social media manager. They say my page looks like I just be throwing stuff up there. And then I have a country page because I'm going to go, you know, by a certain name and certain things. You go on live enough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
Yeah, man. I gotta get that done. Um, I have to be more active as far as pictures. I don't really post pictures of me. You notice? Like, I gotta get some pictures and content. I'm your manager. No, you're not. Um, yeah. So, today I think I'm gonna focus on... Um, call my country manager now, Gina, and see, let's get a plan together. I'm probably going to take me a little nap now that I've been it to you guys, and it feels better. I have anxiety also, just take. Thank you, Fra. <laughs> yeah, I got me feeling better. I don't know. I got a lot of tattoos, BJ. My venting is better. If you need promo stuff, I can help. I know you can. I do. I really need to start working my country page. And, yeah, it's just so crazy. Like, because... The label wants me to give them a date for the R&B album because they can't plan a rollout. And they can't plan um, a calendar thing. So half of the problem is I have to sit my butt in that studio and I have to get it right. So they can do their job. Who controls the Twitter? Um, this girl named Kelly controls my Twitter. You, but y'all know when I pop on there, you can kind of tell it's me. And Kelly also controls the Facebook. But I need a content manager. Someone to come up with content that's dope and things that I could shoot. I need great ideas, super creative, creative things that will be fun for you guys. Great looks for me. Um, it's crazy that I've cleared out everything to start this new life. Oh, thank you. I just completely hit reset on my life and it's the scariest thing. You know how I've, I've been and everybody would be like, oh yeah, my life started, you know, doing different things. No, I completely, my life is completely different. I don't talk to the same people. I don't see the same people. I don't sing the same songs. I don't move the same way. I don't feel the same way. Like, nothing is the same. I'm meeting new friends, new writers, new producers. Like, man, my life is different whole new team for 2021. Mm. So it's just about building them once they're built and running. But I do need, um, yeah, content manager. I need to write a list of all the positions and all the things I need to do. Everything is like good. Like my drink has grown tremendously the number and sales like the change has been a positive impact thank you it's scary y'all change is scary this stuff is scary like i wake up i look out my window it's beautiful out there and I'm not used to this scenery i'm in this what kind of home is this? This isn't a modern home. This is a traditional, beautiful family home. Um, yeah. Kimberly Michelle, hello. T-shirt ain't scary. Your mama is.
No, I'm working on that Jack commercial. I even got a new Jack song, too. Gratitude is really peace. You're right. Give me a shot on some Florida. Give you a shot at what? I have a man. Thank you, the infamous. Oh, so much to do today, even on a Friday. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta accomplish what I do. I try to move something forward in every one of my projects in my life, you know? Rich people got so many damn problems. It ain't a rich people problem. I have to make sure that I remain rich. That's stressful. I'm the same as you. The same. I go through the same thing. That's why I'm on here, being transparent. I go through the same thing. Not cool, don't say that. I love you, Mia. Hey, Tony. Let's get up and make breakfast. Fuck it, chef. I'm going back to sleep. It's seven twelve. I'm finna hang y'all up. I was stressed. I needed to talk to y'all. Talk to somebody to calm me down. Seven, eight, nine. Probably like nine thirty or ten. I wake up and start writing out. Ooh, that's something. Start writing out a, you know, like a list of contacts for the day. Good morning. Good morning. How are you strong? I don't know. I ain't had no other choice. I gotta be strong. I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's the Memphis in me, baby. Yeah. Oh, and then I got to get that link pulled down that y'all was telling me about. No, uh, Gina was here. And she um, works at the label last night so she said all i have to do is send the label the link and they'll pull down that link i wonder why he keeps doing that i mean it doesn't like it does affect my overall um like sales and stuff with the label if he keeps putting i don't want to get the the whole thing pulled down now get it i can they can like do something they can like press charges on him if he keeps doing that they can those labels don't play like if they feel like that becomes a problem i can't do anything about it 